Hi there, John Morris here, and in this video we're going to cover, cover basic page construction. So we're going to talk about how to actually put a website page together. And then from, from here we'll be able to move into putting an actual entire site together. So um, let's go ahead and just dive right in with some of the basic elements. So uh, an HTML page or any kind of page that you're going to create uh, needs to be created in a certain way in order for it to work. Now. Um, there's really not necessarily a whole lot to explain as far as why it's just more this is just how it works so I'm just gonna kinda dive in uh, and get right to it so the first things that you're gonna need is what you need to declare that this is an HTML document so you're gonna create an HTML tag so if you've watched the basic syntax uh, video then you know that most of the time in HTML whenever you have an opening tag like this you're gonna have a closing tag and that's true here and so you're just going to close this with HTML. And essentially what that does is it tells the browser that anything inside these tags is HTML. Now of course you could put PHP and all that stuff in there, but um, the actual code that you're using, and this may seem like it's a little confusing, is actually still HTML code. It's just HTML code to insert PHP code, but that's a whole other story. So right now, HTML beginning and opening tags and everything inside of this is going to be HTML. Now, the first thing that you're going to create inside here uh, is you're going to create what's called a head tag or a head section. And what this section does is it allows you to add certain elements that aren't going to necessarily be visible on your site but will allow you to use when you are creating your site. So some examples of this would be if you're going to do meta tags, you could do your meta tags here. Now. I typically don't do much with meta tags, so we won't get much into that, but um, one that you're definitely going to use is what's called a title tag. Okay, and what this is going to do is it's going to set the title for your site, for your browser, for search engines, for anybody that would use that title. So let's say that this is our sample page. This is going to be the title of this page. And again, opening and closing just like that. So now if we come up to and we upload this page to our site when we go back to our site and we refresh you see that the title is used right here and it's also used right here in our browser so those are two different places that the title gets used search engines will, will also use your title and it will actually be the link in the search engine listing that a person would click on so that's something to keep in mind when you're creating your title but so there's a there's a title another thing that you're probably going to use is a link to your style sheet um, just like this and those are kind of the basic elements that you're going to want to do when you're creating a style sheet link now this is a self-closing tag just like that so there's lots of different things that you could put in the head tag you could put a link to your uh, favicon which if uh, if you don't know a favicon is this little this little button right here I mean this little image right here is a favicon and so you can actually change what this is so like for example if we go to google.com you see they have a little picture here of their own little logo or if you go to Facebook then they have their own little uh, logo here as well. So you can declare that again in the head section of your website. Also, if you have someone, you know, you may have some JavaScript or some different codes that you put up there. If you're using, say, writing a WordPress theme, you're going to have uh, other stuff up there. And, and as we get into overall site design, we'll talk more about this. But I just want to give you. You know, I just want to give you a little bit of time, so I don't want to get too much into that. But your head section is where you're going to put a lot of that stuff. One thing that you could also do, instead of putting a link to your style sheet, although I don't recommend this, is you could actually put in your style just like this. And you could actually put in all your style attributes in here as well. Um, I don't recommend doing that and I'm, you're going to see why when we get into actually building a site but it is possible to do things that way. So um, that's your head section and you're going to put again a lot of those different elements that you'll use 
in there. The next thing that you're going to create is your body tag. And your body tag is what actually shows the visible content of your site. So this is where you're going to put things like your divs, you know, and um, your links and all the HTML that we talked about in the basic syntax. That's going to go inside your body tags in here and that's going to show you um, your, that's again going to be all your visible content. And then of course after you close your body tag and then um, you're going to have your closing HTML tag. So that's the basic structure of a page and as you can see it's actually uh, pretty simple. Again, you're going to add a lot more stuff into here, but that's just a simple construction of a page. So um, I don't think there's really much more that we need to talk about in that. When we get into um, actually building out a site, we'll, we'll talk about more about the actual things that you're going to put in here for constructing a site. But just to give you an idea of what an actual page, if you were going to create a page, what it needs to look like, um, what the different elements you need to have, that's that's pretty much it. You need to have your HTML, your head, and your body tags, and then you insert everything inside of those. So um, from this, we'll build on. We'll actually get into building an entire site. I'll show you more about what you need to put in here and how it's all going to come together. Plus, I'm going to show you a really cool way to structure your sites that's going to make web design a lot easier for you. So hopefully this is helpful for you, and I'll talk to you again soon in the next videos.